Hello and welcome to Gospel and Spade. Today we are going to briefly examine the Tel Dan Stele, which is dated to the 9th century BC, which is currently located at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. The Tel Dan Stele was discovered in 1993 at Tel Dan, Israel, near the city gate of Dan. This stele, written in Aramaic, was commissioned by the rulers of the nearby kingdom of Aram, or modern-day Syria, to promote their victories amongst the local, mostly Jewish, inhabitants of Dan. This monument was therefore intended as a piece of pro-Syrian propaganda amongst the defeated and conquered Jewish population. The importance of this artefact is that firstly, this Syrian source makes mention of biblical rulers such as the Syrian kings Ben-Hadad II and Hazael, the stele also makes mention of Jewish kings including Joram, Ahab, Ahaziah, Jehoram and Jehu. This hostile, non-Jewish source therefore helps to confirm the existence of these Syrian and Jewish kings mentioned in the Old Testament. Even more important though is that this Syrian document makes mention of the House of David not long after the time of David's reign in the 10th century BC. Until recently, it was commonly believed that the existence of David as a historical man and a king was simply a later myth created by the Jews to legitimise their rule over the region, and that therefore David never existed as a man or a king. However, with the discovery of this stele, along with the Moabite Misha stele, another hostile non-Jewish source, it is apparent that David was indeed a historical king in the region, just as the Bible declares, and was even recognised as such by non-Jewish nations that surrounded the Jews. It also demonstrates the stir of a historical royal dynasty that began with David, and that such a dynasty was not merely fabricated later to give the kingdom of Judah some form of legitimacy in the eyes of both Jews and non-Jews alike. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.